So every time I click on a song, I have this new this new behavior that's happening and that's basically I click on the song, a new window pops up and it's and it's set up in the specific dimensions that I set that I uh set up or I, I inputted. Well, that behavior is actually a JavaScript that we've inserted through Dreamweaver. And if we go to the code view of our page, we'll look and you'll see in the head of our document is, you see a, a, a tag called script, which is saying that we're about to insert a script into our HTML. And it says the type JavaScript. And if you kind of look over here, you see function mm. And you kind of see some more stuff. You don't really need to know the, the details. But if you just, just for your own curiosity, because eventually you, you are going to want to know more JavaScript and not necessarily how to code it yourself, but how to use pre existing code in your designs. If you look, look at what we have here. It says function mm something, but it says the URL, win name, and features. Now, if you remember when we set when we set this thing up, we had those three options what features we wanted. Uh, and we needed a window name in the URL. If we look down over here at our link, we see that, like our Brian Eno, we see that these values are actually defined. So the very first thing is says mm underscore open br window, which is the same naming convention as it has up here mm underscore open br window. And see, within there we have the URL that we want we have the window name and then I guess here are all the features over here the features we set up are resizable yes width and height now I'm not really gonna go into any more of this than than this uh, the JavaScript thing but I just want to show you how this works and actually some parallels in a second to embedded versus external style sheets now we have this function in our in our this one single page but this particular JavaScript function may be useful for all of our sites right so I mean not I'm sorry for all of the pages within our site well what's the advantage to using an external CSS document well if you ex if you have all your styling information in one external document that means that changing that thing once is gonna affect all your documents well, the same is true actually for JavaScripts too. We could include JavaScripts with actually without having to put this code in here, and the JavaScript could live in an external file, just like a .css file exists. We could set up a .js file. Dreamweaver has a great function, and it is right here. Uh, or oh, here we go. Uh, under commands, there's an option that says externalize JavaScript. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to externalize JavaScript, and then we have some. We have two two basic options. We have only externalize JavaScript or externalize JavaScript and attach unobtrusively. So, if you want, what we could do is actually this this unobtrusively is almost a. It's it's more it's not what we're gonna do rather without going on, you know long story short we're gonna just only externalize it and I'll show you what the effect is once we click OK it says it removed it we hit OK and now look we have this this JavaScript it created something similar to when we link something else but it's going script and then the source is this external file and it created it right here this .js file. When we click the .js file there's that function that we have. So now we have this pop-up function living out on its own pretty easy all we did is externalize it although I'm not sure I like this name. What I'm gonna do is just so we have something a little more descriptive I'm gonna go pop-up window Actually, I don't like that style anymore. I'm going to do dashes in between. We're going to just name it pop-up window. Hit OK. It's going to scan it and just make sure that it updates our index to the new, because right now that index is pointing to, well, now it's pointing to pop-up window. OK. There we go. So now just to make sure everything's still working, pop-up window is good. 
the pop-up window already worked. Actually, I'm just having some slow internet today. So that's working good. Now check this out. We did pop it up. So what do you think is going to happen if we pull that file out of that? Or you know what? Let me actually just rename it. What do you think is going to happen if I rename this? You think is that you think that pop-up behavior still is going to happen? Of course not. How would it? Because now it's looking for a file that doesn't exist anymore. 